Hi, it's Ugnus here. So you know how you learn a new piece of music and everything seems to go really well until the point when you reach that bit with really complicated rhythmical patterns. It usually looks something like that and may seem worse on paper, although it is not too bad to play once you analyze and really know what's going on in there. Passages like this or similar ones, which are written out in mixed rhythmic values, can often be daunting to figure out. To get that exact timing can be tricky, especially if you've never heard a piece of music played before. So depending on the time signature, I like to simply learn the timing of the first notes of each beat with a metronome before trying to attempt and play it all at once again. Make sure to play the required notes with the fingering that you intend to play when you perform the piece. There are many pieces in which this sort of variety of mixed rhythms is apparent in one way or another. Say for example in the Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto in the measures 263 to 266. Here you have triplets, then semiquavers, then 12, 11 semiquavers. Again, practicing just the beat notes before playing all the other remaining notes will help you to find the overall timing of that. Depending on the complexity and number of different groups of notes, you might want to divide the beats even further. In this particular instance, the timing signature is 4-4, meaning that I can split the passage of 12 notes right in the middle and make 2 times 6. And then the 11 notes I can split somewhere around here to get clean 5 and clean 6 to approximately measure the crotchet beats. Okay, so maybe this Tchaikovsky concerto is in the best example out there because the actual piece is so much more complex than those three or four bars. But I just wanted to show you the point and show you the simplicity of this trick and how it works. So here's another example for you. This little section of the Haydn Sonata in E-flat major. To me, this looked a little bit complicated on paper at first. But then practicing just the core notes within the bar helped me to realize the placement of those little notes. This sort of practice is great if you struggle to figure out the overall timing of the groups. I'm pretty sure this can be applied in many scenarios and will be useful to quite a few of you. I hope this helps and if you know more pieces with complicated rhythmical patterns, and I'm sure there are plenty of them, do mention them in the comments down below and let me know whether this particular trick helped you in your practice. In the meantime, comment, like, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.